Well, the weekend is here and so is the season of keeping up with the neighbors. <laughs> the desire to have a nice looking yard is the challenge of spring. So what you should be doing right now and what should you simply avoid? New this morning, John Shumway reached out to Penn State's top grass guru <laughs> for some guidance on all of this. John, yes, my yard looks horrible uh, <laughs> and it has for years, so I need help. Yeah, mine does too, which is why we met at my house. Now, oh. from the home of the Little League World Series to turf projects of all sizes, Jeff Fowler knows grass and says all the rain we've had lately is really a complicating factor. A lush lawn is a thing of beauty, and Mother Nature has done the watering chores a bit too much lately, prompting this common mistake. As wet as it's been here in the Pittsburgh area, um, going out and over mowing, over trafficking their wet lawns. So let it dry enough that you're not putting ruts into the yard because those ruts will not go away. As for what pattern to follow, Fowler says, change it up. Um, if you always go the same way, you have little skips that you miss each and every time. Leave the mulcher on and chop them up real fine and put them back into the soil. That's as long as you're only taking a third of the blade of grass off at a time. As for your lawn's condition, got dandelions? You want a broadleaf weed killer, which is in most weed and feed products. If you've got holes in your yard like these. So it could be a raccoon or a skunk, maybe even a crow who's coming in to dig a spot looking for those grubs to eat. Fowler says wait a few weeks and drop some grub killer. And moss? Um, I'm a big fan of lime. Um, and change the pH of the soil. But how much lime or how much fertilizer is a very personal thing to your lawn. So you'll want to take some soil samples. Um, we want to take 15 or 20 from um, a yard this size, 15 or 20 of them, put them in a bucket, mix them up, let them dry, and then send them away to the lab. Now, you're only sending off about a cup of soil to actually be tested, and the drier it is, the cheaper it is to send. It'll cost you about $10 for Penn State to do it for you. Penn State will get that result back to you within about 10 days, and it will come with directions of how much of what you need to spread. That's fascinating, <laughs> but it sounds like kind of a pain to do. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> it really does sound like a pain. But as Fowler said, would you want your doctor to put you on a blood pressure medicine without checking your blood pressure first? Okay. You know, it's needed to get that soil test. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting money on bags of right, stuff you're putting right. on the yard. Your yard may not even need. And worse yet, you may be putting down too much. Always follow the directions on the settings mm -hmm. for your spreaders. Otherwise, you could really cause some problems. Good yeah, well, know. look, I got to change something because it's not, it hasn't looked good forever. Concrete, so. David, just try concrete. <laughs> oh, put gravel down. I'm call almost it a day. to that gravel. point. <laughs> All right, you've inspired me and given me hope. Thank, Thank you.